What's up, everybody? Welcome to Buzzworthy TV. And I'm your girl, Lady T. <sighs> y'all, I'm going to keep it so real with y'all. I almost did not do this video because I am utterly exhausted. Now, I know y'all, like, is she exhausted, you know, from getting back to work after the holidays? And the answer to that question is no. Do you know what I'm exhausted from? I'm exhausted from Tamar and Vince. They have utterly and completely exhausted me, okay? And if y'all haven't heard, I don't know where y'all been. Maybe under the rock, under a rock somewhere. But if y'all don't know about what's going on in these streets in regards to Tamar and Vince, I'm here to tell you, okay? So, as you all know, Tamar has been acting a complete and utter fool and cutting up on social media for almost a week now, okay? It has been utterly freaking ridiculous, and I am completely tired of it, okay? And this is coming from a freaking fan, okay? A fan who has been a fan of Tamar Braxton's music since... Before the Braxton, since Love and War, I've been a fan since she had that single, If You Don't Want to Love Me. Matter of fact, I have that single still, okay? That's how much of a Tamar Braxton fan that I am. So, you little Tamarshans, y'all can cuff me all y'all want to in them comments. I don't give a care, because I'm going to tell you how I feel, because I'm sick of it, okay? I'm completely sick of it. I'm sick of her, I'm sick of Vince, I'm sick of this whole situation. So, let's backtrack a little. Okay, so as we all know, last time we talked about Tamar and Vince, we were talking about how, you know, she went on this rant on social media talking about Vince had a baby on the way and his whore was the one who let her know. Okay, then... The next day, she's all on Twitter defending him when I think the girl name is Melissa Schumann. I think that's her name. But however the case, the girl from The Dream who Vince used to work with, you know, he used to work with the group The Dream. Well, she was basically saying she sympathized with Tamar because Vince was verbally abusive to them as young girls. And she was defending Vince, talking about you will not use her personal situation to bash him. And he was not abusive to you. What he was doing was called artist development. No different than none other than all these other young superstars back in the day had to go through. Like her, Aaliyah, Brandy, Monica. She was just saying that was artist development. You will not bash him. And I'm like, okay. I understand you don't want anything misconstrued, but you went kind of hard, especially since you started this firestorm. If you don't want nobody to comment or say anything, then don't put certain shit out there, okay? She was sitting up there just simply reacting to a article that she saw about you and was saying that she empathized with you because she went through somewhere the same situation you know she had an encounter with Vince that was not that pleasant you know speaking from her own experience and how she felt but you went in on her I gave you the side out in and then right after that Vince is with you at the Great Escape Tour where all this shit go down between Escape and T.S. Madison and Kaya and again I'm giving both of y'all the side I'm like what the fuck you doing there Vince I mean, I know you escapes manager, and let's talk about that shit. How if this is this abuser? And I'm not saying that she said that he's an abuser. Because me being a journalist, I go by facts. So I've been following this story. So I'm not going to say that, you know, she made him out to be this abuser. And now... We see them all together. He was at the concert and, you know, how, you know, how could she sit up there and put him out to be an abuser and then right back with him? You know, a lot of people are in their feelings about that. But 
if you ever paid attention, she never came out publicly and actually said that he was an abuser. She said that, you know, they were having problems. They got into arguments. Now, she did call him a liar. And she did come out and say that he was messing around with some other chick. Now, that she did say. So, let's keep that in mind. Follow me here. Okay. So, with that being said, now, while she didn't just come out and say that he was an abuser, when, when she went off on her rant about, you know, him having a baby on the way, she put out there that, oh, he got a protection order out against him and he got arrested on Christmas because basically it acted a fool. Again, she never said he hit her, but she alluded to it. So that's what my problem is. Tamar alludes to a lot of shit. And then when people want to come at her and say, well, I thought you said he was this, he was that. Then she want to get offended and get all her feelings and then feel like she got to come to his defense. And it's like, but you put that out there. You alluded to it. And then what you didn't allude to, you got your mama out here going on press tours giving us, you know, detail after detail of his alleged abuse. So I don't know what to believe, but all these answers has to stop. Okay, so let's bring this back up to present day, okay? You would think after all that, that she would have had enough, right? All this shit going back and forth. And then, because right after... All that stuff with T.S. Madison, Kaya, Escape, and Tamar and Vince, all that stuff came out famous. Because again, all this starts, Tamar is always in the middle of something. So, while all this stuff was going on with Tamar and Vince, a supposed baby, supposed abuse, and trying to figure out why the hell he was at the Great Escape Tour, famous got to digging and put all Tamar's business out there. So supposedly she got a man on the side that she had started dating before she met Vince. She met him through, I guess, T.I. and Tiny. They stopped kicking it. She got with Vince. And then once her and Vince separated, she got back with him. That's the story. Again, with, with what they doing and all this bull crap that they... <sighs> Y'all, it's all a scam that Ty set up so we could be sitting up here just sitting up here mad, okay? <laughs> and look, and I was never one to say that. But yeah, this is all a scheme that Ty set up, as everybody say. So anyway, about this boyfriend. So supposedly she had a boyfriend, she got a boyfriend that she been dating ever since her and Vince decided to separate. So everybody was again, man, like how you gonna be mad that he got a baby on the way when you got a whole other man, you in a whole another relationship. Okay, so again, if all that wasn't enough, yesterday, TMZ catches them at the airport, leaving Atlanta, flying into California. And when TMZ catches up with them, they like, so what's going on? And she's like, we're still a family. Get your life. And, you know, even the reporter was like, right, should we read too much into this? Or are y'all just family? Like, what's going on? And all this could say is, God is good. I'm like, y'all doing a complete and utter most, okay? Complete and utter most. And this is why I get upset with them. Again, because back when Tamar had allegedly gotten her finger bitten by Vince and they got caught seeing the airport, she was again holding her head down, trying not to be seen or really talk to the reporters like she was doing this time. And Vince, like he was like, Vince is all smiles and giggles. Remember the last time when he supposedly had bit her finger and it was in the uh, airport? What'd he do? Smile was like this, yeah. And this time he like, God is good. So it's like, okay. Either he is this 
self-centered man who doesn't realize what he's doing. He thinks he can get away with everything and she will always forgive him no matter what. Maybe that's why he got that smug look every time somebody asks him a question. Because even with the whole thing with Lori Govan, when they asked him about Lori Govan, he was like, not true. You got a baby? That's not true. Like, he just be laughing. Like, he know all oh, this is some BS. He know Tamar's acting the fool. And he just going along for the ride. Now, again, I don't know why they doing this, but I'm sick of it. All this is just ludicrous. And then you going to sit up here, be with Vince talking about y'all still a family or whatever. That's fine. That's cool. I understand you have a child. Trust me, I am a product of divorce. Me and my sister. It's two. I have, I have three sisters. And me, one of my sisters and me had the same mother and father. The other two, we just had the same father. With that being said, my parents, even after the divorce, made a conscious decision to always, no matter what went on, to have a common ground when it came to us kids. So I understand that. But all this back and forth and y'all putting y'all mess out there for social media and then want to get mad when people all in y'all business, that ain't going to fly. Just like how today... You talking about, oh, we not getting back together. We just trying to be cordial for our son. And we've decided that we're no longer going to talk about our relationship publicly. And I'm like, you think? Y'all should have been shut the fuck up. Okay? Y'all should have been shut the fuck up. So, again, sorry but not sorry. I don't give a damn. It's like, wah, 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 right? And then she deletes her face, I mean, not her Facebook, her Instagram page. And I'm like, girl, bye. Okay. Ain't nobody got time for that. So now you want to be all dramatic and delete your Instagram. Why don't you and Tyrese just both disappear from social media, okay? Because y'all both need help. Like, we're just getting over Tyrese's antics and here you go being a female version of Tyrese and I can't take it okay I really can't so supposedly they're done talking about their relationship on social media she deleted her Instagram page we all know how Tamar is this is not the last of it she'll continue to post her shit put it out there for the world to see and get mad when people want to voice their opinion and this will not be the last time she posted delete shit like she did when she exposed Vince and his supposed baby. Uh, this will not be the last time she deletes her Instagram account. <laughs> you know, this is just what she does. So I'm over it. You know, I just wish she would grow the hell up and stop seeking attention. Like, I hate to call her an attention whore, but I don't know why or... I just don't understand why else she would do this. Some people say it's for ratings. They're trying to boost up their show, but their show is not doing that bad where you got to destroy your whole family in the process. Like, in her last Instagram post, she said, you know, they're not going to talk about their stuff on social media because their son's not dumb. He can read. Well, duh, he can read. But... He's going to be reading all the stuff that you put out there, okay? Stuff that you put out there that other people don't screenshot and will continue to post because the internet is forever. So if you have Logan around here asking you questions or asking why you said this about daddy or why daddy do this to you, Tamar, you only have yourself to blame. Okay, or if they want to know why, God forbid, you lied, or Logan want to know what, God forbid, why you lied on daddy, why you say daddy was this way or that way, you'll have yourself to blame. And if they, if he want to know why his grandmother went on all these shows, she only has herself to blame because then nobody asks her to go on all these media tours, especially if this stuff is not true. I just don't know, but I just know they need to calm the hell down. So anyway, y'all, let me know what y'all think about this whole situation. I, for one, am tired. So 
What do y'all think about these antics? Do you guys think that this is that's a, a sham to, well, I should say a scam to get more ratings? Do you think that this stuff is really happening and she's in denial like Mama Evelyn said? Do y'all think she needs help? Because I'm starting to think maybe she does need rehab. Because if you always pay attention, Vince on the Lolo is always talking about she drinks too much. And people have said she gets in her feelings and she, while she's drinking. And she posts a lot of stuff that she ends up deleting is because she gets in her feelings while she's drinking. And she posts stuff that she has no business posting. Or she goes on live. Like that time when she was about to expose this on Instagram Live. Like, I don't know. But whatever it is, it just needs to stop. So anyway, y'all, let me know what y'all think about this whole situation. Until next time, peace and love.